going to be all about, talking about our roleplay experiences. Um, so we'll start with my story. Um, I had two other people that are going to be on here this podcast eventually. Uh, couldn't make it today. But, uh, so we're going to talk about my story of roleplay. Um, I started a long time ago, and it started on Forza Horizon. Um, and then eventually, uh, on that game, we were doing Colorado role plays. And then, uh, I didn't know much about role play at the time. I had a friend teach me. Um, then we eventually moved on to Forza Horizon 2, um, which is where we started our first, um, little tiny community with a group of friends of ours. Um, that, at that point in time, it was California. Um. Uh, then we all eventually got uh, Forza Horizon 3. And from that day, everything really changed. Uh, me and my friend made a official roleplay community called DOC. Uh, it was the Department of Cops roleplay community. And um, it, 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 it got pretty big. Um, a lot of good roleplays. Uh, a lot of fun times. A lot of good memories. Um, but like every community, we always had bad memories too. Um, there was always people trying to fight, um, there was always people trying to cause issues, and so eventually we had to build, um, like a, uh, a, a big book system for us, like a rule book system, and, uh, after that, everything really changed the role play experience, um, once... Uh, we got done eventually after the year of FH3, um, and FH4 was coming out, um, our community kind of disbanded itself, um, we kind of grew apart from it, and we didn't really take much care of it, so, eventually, I tried to start up my own community on, um, Poise Horizon 4. It, it lasted, I don't know, maybe a year or so, and then, once again, everybody just kind of disbanded themselves. There was too much arguing going on, and everybody, like, went back to school and everything, and that's the thing that you realize about roleplay is, if you're going to run a community, the best time to start big role plays is going to be when people are on, like, their school breaks and stuff, if they're still in school. Or, like, if, you know, they're working, they're not working. Because if you do it, if you do a role play, which is more commonly seen during the night or during, like, the afternoon, um, at least for me and everybody else that I've played with, uh, you notice that uh, you don't really get a lot of members uh, during, like, school, school months because when you do one during the day, they're at school. Or they're at work. When you do them at night, most of them are on, but some of them might work at night. And so, that was an issue that we were running into. So, yeah, that we kind of just all grew apart. Um, Xbox One really changed a lot of people. Um, from back on Xbox 360 role plays to now. Um, a lot has changed in those years. Um, the, the fun, funny people, uh, that I used to roleplay with on Xbox 360, on Forza, uh, I actually have blocked now. So, they were trying to start problems and start drama, and I just had enough of it. They were trying to bring my name into it, so I didn't put up with it. Um... Coming into now, uh, it's kind of like Roblox and Crankville, which is what we're going to get to in this podcast mostly. Is We're going to go past everybody's uh, where they started, and then we're going to move into it right now. Um, we did RP on GTA for like two years straight. And eventually... Uh, we were bouncing back and forth between Roblox, Greenville, and GTA. Um, 
so we kind of set ourselves down on, on GTA. Um, but eventually we went to Greenville. And now uh, I just recently bought a private server on Greenville. And it it'll it'll take some time to probably fix, but um a lot of people would probably say why Roblox? Um for me it's not so much the game, no matter how old I am. Uh, it, for me, it's like teaching the people how to roleplay. Um, educating them on how to properly RP. And that that's really part of it. Um, in this private server, we were having three-hour, four-hour good RPs before something actually went wrong. And we had to call our staff patrol, which is only one of us. Um, and, of course... Me running a private server, then uh, knowing somebody, one of my friends that also has a private server is that has a uh, in quotations community. Um, it uh, it's not so much causing drama. It's more like uh, a group of people, really. Um, uh, what I never understand in role play is. If a staff deals with a situation, then a law enforcement officer or a paramedic, firefighter, civilian shouldn't go back and re and, and try to enforce the same thing that I just did. Because my job as staff is to go ahead and fix that problem so no one else has to, so no one else starts an argument. But we found out that apparently somewhere in that groove someone didn't follow it and it wound up making a big mess out of everything um it's really upsetting because i've been doing role play for 10 years of my life uh, along with other things too not just in games but like out in the real world doing things and uh it's a, it's a lot, but if you're not going to be willing to do the job the right way as a founder or as a staff member, um, then you really shouldn't be doing it at all. I mean, that's just it. I mean, that's the whole point of staff applications, which is what I am currently working on. Um, me and a group of friends, me or me and two more friends, came up with this idea to do this because we actually want to tell our experiences on RP and like have fun about it, joke about it. Sometimes we'll have serious ones where it's like, why why would somebody do this in the first place? Like who does this? And yeah, it might people might argue with us on whether it's right or wrong to do. But to us, this is our this is what we love to do. And so I'm here announcing our new podcast. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, hopefully, we'll have another episode coming soon. With that being said, I hope everyone has a nice day or night, whatever time you're listening to this. Have a wonderful life, and we will be back soon. Later, guys.